Good morning one and all. Myself, Sideshwari Tiwari, BDS intern, belonging to CSMS's Dental College, Aurangabad. The topic of my research article is use of mitis and salivarious agar base for presumptive identification of streptococcus salivarius collected from the clinical samples. This study was done under guidance of Jyoti Magre ma'am, who is an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology, CSMS's Dental College, Aurangabad. As we know, the S. salivarius is a normal commensal that inhibits in the oral cavity. It has a greater virulence towards the destructive dental and periodontal diseases. Myself, belonging from the same background, me and my professor, we were fascinated to isolate this species and find the most effective way of isolation of the same. A sample size of 20 was considered. Oral swabs were collected and cultured both in blood agar and MSA that is mitis salivarius agar with 1% of potassium telluride simultaneously and the results were obtained. Blood agar showed mixed colonies while on MSA blue gum drop colonies were obtained. Human streptococci are the normal commensals of the oral cavity, gastrointestinal tract and also genitourinary tract. As soon as a human is born, soon it is exposed to S. salivarius within few hours. Hence, it develops an acquired immunity against it. So, it is considered as harmless. But, considering its invasion into the blood vessels, it is an extremely potentiate virulent organism. It can cause endocarditis, that is infective endocarditis or post-antineoplastic septicemia in neutropenic patients with hematological disease. Also, sepsis can be caused in immunocompromised patients with neutropenia. The procedure of this study was initiated with the oral consent taken from the patients. They were informed about the procedure and our study topic and oral consent was taken. The patients that were included had high caries index, poor periodontal health, moderate to severe periodontitis and also poor oral hygiene patients were included. Patients with low caries index, good oral hygiene and patients on antibiotic prophylaxis were excluded from the study. After selection of patient based on the criteria mentioned, 20 sterile swabs were prepared. Excavation of caries and debris was done using a probe and that sample was collected in a sterile test tube and transferred to the respective department within a short period of time. The samples were then cultured on two separate medias, one that consisted of blood agar and another that consisted of mitis salivarius agar with 1% of potassium telluride which was prepared according to the manufacturer's instructions given. These both of them then were simultaneously incubated for 24 hours at a temperature of 37 degrees. Results were then obtained. It showed some R type and some S type of colonies. The R type were rough type of colonies and the S type were the smooth type of colonies with alpha hemolytic colonies. S salivarius showed weak alpha reactions with small non-pigmented rough colonies. While on MSA, blue gumdrop colonies were seen as shown in the figure below. When smear were prepared and gram staining was done, Gram positive cocci of varying length was seen. The length varied from very small to very long chains. 12 out of 20 samples showed growth of Candida albicans, that is 60% of the total growth on blood agar, while on MSA, 0% of the sample showed growth. E. faecalis had 15 samples out of 20 samples. That is 75% of growth of E. faecalis was seen on blood agar while on MSA only 7 samples showed growth out of 20 that is 35% of the complete growth. On MSA there was a blue black colonies of E. faecalis seen. S. salivarius had 18 out of 20 samples on blood agar showing growth that is 90% of the total growth. Same results were obtained on MSA with S. salivarius. Talking about S. aureus, that is Staphylococcus aureus, 
14 out of 20 sample showed growth that is 70% of growth was seen on blood agar while on msa 0% of growth was seen presenting the same results on a pie diagram we can see that 25% of candida albicans 30% of e fecalis 20% of s salivarius while s aureus had 24% of growth on blood agar while talking about the msa that is mites salivarius agar 72% of growth of s salivarius was seen while 28% of enterococcal species that is e fecalis was seen certain biochemical tests were performed for s salivarius it is negative to enzyme catalase and oxygenase and acid production on fermentation with sugars like glucose fructose maltose was seen while variable results were seen with lactose as studied before s salivarius is not just destructive and virulent for oral diseases but also it is prone to nasolacrimal and iatrogenic central nervous infections also s salivarius is frequently associated with bacterial meningitis which is followed by spinal procedure that is anesthesia according to study by c e scafford he inferred that when cultured on blood agar s salivarius shows weak alpha reaction on blood agar some of the variables shows gamma reaction and very few remaining variables shows typical alpha reaction this also he mentioned that there is no growth below 10 degree celsius and above 47 degree celsius so most favorable temperature according to him given was 45 degree celsius also studied by holt jr et al he mentioned in the burgess manual of determinative bacteriology that the most of the stain had weak alpha reaction on blood agar and small non pigmented smooth to rough colonies were seen also study by j m sherman et al was done in which 95% of the culture showed no greening greening is seen in alpha reaction no greening means weak alpha reaction or no alpha reaction similar kind of results on blood agar were obtained by us while talking about msa after 24 hours of incubation characteristic gum drop colonies were seen and they were associated with s salivarius certain blue black colonies were also obtained which is discussed in the results as well they are belonging to enterococcal species that is e fecalis and our interest was only s salivarius hence we took the samples from s salivarius for the further biochemical tests as mentioned a number of times s salivarius is not just a normal commensal of oral cavity but is also found in git and genito urinary tract one can go one more step ahead and isolate samples from other sites and study them under the same media also talking about the scope of the similar study isolation under msa over blood agar is more concluded to be more effective by us but also we can focus on other agents that can be used for isolation of other various streptococcal species that are more lethal to obtain effective results thank you